Hello friends, this is Praveen. Welcome to ITS Workshop. In this video, we would like to talk about how to install HBase on CentOS 7 and that is in pseudo distributed mode. So in last video, we saw how to install HBase, how to configure HBase for standalone mode. But uh, uh, for the coming projects and example, we'll be seeing uh, the use cases related with uh, real cluster or pseudo distributed system so if this is the first time we are doing this then please go back and check the previous video which will be very helpful and there are two requirements which needs to be fulfilled if you are going to proceed with HBase installation first requirement is installing Java and you should be having java in your system and there should be hadoop setup already done so if you don't have hadoop please go to my previous video and check how to install hadoop on centos 7 or any linux system so we have seen standalone and now let us come to pseudo distributed mode so for pseudo distributed mode we will be using same hbase site.xml so this is just there are couple of configuration which we need to provide so we need to set some properties in hbase site.xml so before setting these properties i would like to request you one important thing that whenever you want to set properties you can use your normal user in this case this is Praveen and this is P-R-A-V-E only and for starting your services you should use root user so that's one recommendation for me it's not like mandatory you can use root, uh, root user you can use your normal user any user can be used for configuration and for starting up your server or services but there are some cases which I have encountered that uh, the root has some access like slash temp folder access so sometimes it is required and it is helpful if we are going with default configuration so setting up all configuration with normal user and running your services or cluster with root user that's what i recommend so let us proceed we'll be setting all this configuration with normal user then after setup we'll start our services with root user so before going before setting hbase side dot xml let us first check this port number so we need HDFS port number on which HDFS is running it can be different for all machines sometimes it is 8020 and in my case let me check So in my case this is HDFS is running on local host 9000 so that's the address which we need to provide in properties and next thing we need to create one HBase directory in HDFS so this is the command HDFS FS MKDIR HBase this we need to create so just just come and check do we have this directory created already so I'm going to check this HDFS sorry it should be HDFS DFS and in my case HBase is already created so you can create SDF uh, HBase directory using 
mkdir command so mkdir and hbase so if you run this command you will be seeing this hbase directory created in your hdfs so this is one step which we need required because hdfs will be using this directory in last case in standalone mode we we provided local directory so hbase was using local directory for data storage now it's in distributed mode so it requires hdfs that's why we are providing hdfs address so this is done next step we need to set up region server so in some cases region server is already set once you start it it's set so and in some cases we have to provide this so just I am in configuration directory so home prev my username and hbase and in hbase conf directory so if you if we see different directories over here there is one directory uh, dif different files over here there is one file reason servers so we are looking for this vi editor reason server and if it contains local host it's fine or you need to provide your reason server address or uh, on whatever whichever node your reason server is supposed to run so you just need to provide your address here in my case this is local host so this is set coming out of pi editor so reason server is set we know the port number we created hbase directory and our reason server is set now let us do properties change in hbase site.xml so this is our main configuration file which we need to change here you will see configuration tag and in last video we provided some configuration specific to standalone mode so which are the properties which we need to set there are three properties which we need to provide first one is cluster distributed so hbase cluster distributed it should be set to true this is the first property which we need to provide second property what should be our root directory so in last case it it was some local uh, local directory address and in this case we need to provide it hdfs so this is our hdfs and this is the port which we just check so on this port 9 uh, local host 9000 and this in this directory we just created hbase directory so this will be used for hbase and the third property on which node your zookeeper is running there uh, in production environment you need to install zookeeper separately or you should install and in our case uh, we are just using built-in zookeeper which comes with hbase so we just need to provide this address hbase zookeeper quorum and in our case it is localhost so i'm just copying these properties and paste it here it's successfully escape and wq hyphen save so we have provided configuration that's it so now let us verify whether our hbase is installed successfully or not we just need to check whichever services are running right now so if we give jps command you can see our node node manager data node secondary name node name node resource manager is running it means dfs and yarn is running and now we need to start our hbase services so 
for starting HBase services there is one command start hyphen hbase dot sh it says starting jukeeper and starting master starting region server so all three are started now if you give jps uh, you should be able to see these different services edge quorum peer which is which is specific to jukeeper edge master and edge reason server so these three services are related with your edge base now if i give if i uh, come to my browser the, this is the GUI for Hadoop which we already set up and we need to provide address local host 16010 and master status so if you see this screen it means your HBS is successfully installed and you can see uh, the address so this time the address is local host and you can see table here there are no table these are logs for your HBase log level debug and HBase configuration you can find over here so this is the GUI for your HBase and this HBase is in distributed mode that information you can find here so it is using hbase localhost and one more thing we can do we can we can uh, we can try some hbase command so if i come to hbase shell hbase space shell so let us give some command like list is command which is used for listing all the tables so if i give list command you see there are currently no tables in it and it's successfully running we are not getting any sort of error so it means uh, our hbase is up and running and that is in pseudo distributed mode so that's it for today Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click on like button. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you.